What up fam? Today I got a shoe review video for you guys. We're reviewing the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37 after 250 miles. We got Nico here. Nico has his own YouTube channel. Link will be in the description down below. He's also got around 250 miles in his Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37. We got camera woman Paige on deck today filming for us. Link to her socials will be down in the description below. And yeah, catch you guys in a bit. All right, so today we're reviewing the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37 after 250 miles. I'm gonna go through how I feel the shoe has changed over time and any wear and tear I believe is on the shoe at this current point in time. Let's talk about when I first put on the shoe. When I first put on the shoe, I didn't like the lacing. The lacing or the upper felt a little loose and clunky. That kind of disappeared now and it kind of is formed to the foot. The Air Zoom unit in the forefoot, if you guys watched my first impression video, you are very conscious that it's there, but after this amount of mileage, I'm not conscious that the air zoom unit is there anymore, which is a plus. So I thought it was gonna be annoying to begin with. The rubber on the bottom of the sole is still somewhat intact, starting to have some wear and tear and wear down of the divots. So it still could probably squeeze about maybe another two, 300 miles. B, be gone. Whoa. I'm gonna send myself to the penitentiary. The durability, this shoe is very durable. The react foam, as expected on the sides of the shoe, is starting to crinkle. The responsiveness is still there. I think it's going to be going away anytime soon. The upper doesn't seem to be falling apart. It still looks pretty clean and pretty fresh after 250 miles. A lot of complaints, especially when people first got the shoe, is heel slippage into the heel. I did not notice that at all. You know, the back part of my heel coming out the back, especially after this amount of mileage, it's still intact, still hugging onto the heel. The overlays are still there. They haven't really fallen off. I only wear these shoes for my long runs, my midweek long runs, warm up, cool downs, um, and some strides, although I do prefer the Nike React Infinity Run flying it over this shoe because that's just how I am. I find it that it conforms more to the foot. In terms of how I feel the shoe for my chronic nagging injuries, like for my Achilles, the shoe is really narrow. Um, because of the narrow base, it does feel a little unstable. It is a neutral shoe after all, and I do have an orthotic in my shoe. If you guys need orthotics, check in the description down below. Uh, use my coupon code and check them out. Because of the fact that it's narrow, it doesn't feel as stable. If you look at the like the Nike Alpha Fly compared to the Nike Vapor Fly, and you look at both the soles of the shoe, you do notice that with the increase in stack height of the Alpha Fly, they had to make the base wider in order to make the shoe more stable. For the Pegasus, the heel to toe offset, I believe, is 10 millimeters versus the Nike Rack and Fringe Fly in it, which is nine millimeters. So it is noticeable, even though it's only a millimeter. Nico, you got anything you wanna say about the shoe? Yeah, pretty much. I agree with everything that Josh said. At first, I didn't really like them, which I probably mentioned before. Now I actually really got into them. My first impression was kind of eh, but as I got into like running into it more, like Josh said, it like got the form of my foot and I get really got used to it. But I do notice that like after only 250 miles, it has worn down a little on top and that just might be from the way that I run. A lot of my other shoes don't really do that and it's usually just at the top right here. Um, and then on the side, it's obviously gotten like a little bit uh, of crinkles and stuff. That's kind of expected to happen. The side right here, I've noticed that it's like kind of tearing off, which that's never happened to any of my shoes before, but um, it could have been maybe I ran into something or something. But overall, I really like the shoe. It feels really comfortable on my foot and it's been like really light and I like to do strides in them. And I don't usually do them for workouts, just regular runs. Um, and I, overall, I think it's a great shoe. My, that subscribe button. I haven't done the outro yet. <laughs> All right, guys, overall, I would say it's a good shoe, and it's a shoe I would say is worth getting, but I still think the Nike React Infinity Run Fly Knit is the shoe to go with if you had to pick between one or the other. Yeah. Huh. I'm going to ask you that. I haven't posted in since the cabin video, but I'm filming one right now. Yo! Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for when I post my next video. Catch you guys next time. Peace.